Hello, my minions. Welcome to another episode full of cuteness and color. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends about me. Come on, tell your family and let's all be a part of this community together. Anyway, let's jump into it. First mod I want to review are these any lanterns mod. Basically, it adds five lanterns with special um, models, 3D models, and small interesting features. I love that you can also connect them to chains, like the default chains we have in vanilla. Wait, it's the opposite actually. Yeah, that. So <laughs> basically, you put the chain first and then the lantern and it will connect. That's what I meant. I just didn't execute it. Um, Properly. Oh no, I forgot. Oopsies. Now I need a new. <laughs> new thing. Okay. Oop. I did the same mistake again, didn't I? Like this, and then we put the little lantern, and there you go. I'm gonna do the same thing with this lantern as well, just to show you how it all works. There you go. It automatically um, connects it to the chain. Next, we have Better Dogs X Doggy Talents. Next, it's a mod that adds special dog breeds from a resource pack. Um, and it's that resource pack is super known for having like super cute, um, diverse models for all dog types it's honestly amazing if you love dogs or you love pets in general this mod is definitely for you next colorful azaleas is a mod that adds seven unique colors of azalea trees to bring color more color to the forests and each tree adds its own wood type as you can see here I think they would look very awesome in their little own little pots. You know how we take um, these flower and azaleas. Oopsies. And then you get a pot right here. Ooh, creepy Minecraft sound. We put them like this. Like, imagine putting all of these little ones in pots like that, too. That would be amazing. It's like a bouquet of flowers. Anyway. This is it for this mod. Moving on to the next one. Cozy Foods is a small add-on of Farmer's Delight. Um, it is focused on drinks, farming, and cute decorations. And sorry for the, the noise, but it's actually these little guys here. Um, yeah, I wish I can make them. Actually... Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, now it's calm. Alright, so these are the decorations and also this one works. This one is just decoration. If you sh um, click shift and then right click, it changes colors. And I tried to show you guys all the colors available right there. This is where you actually make your bubble tea. It's so cute, it adds so many other fruits. Um, let me just show you. Adds cassava, honeydew slice, taro, mango, bleachy, a lot of other things like matcha and spoons, jasmine, green tea. <laughs> I see. And it also adds two new saplings, therefore two new wood types. Uh, new, which means new doors, new trap doors, and fences, and everything. And there you go. Creatures and Beasts is a fantasy creature mod that adds a lot of new mobs to each biome. Here we have a cinder shell. I mean, I didn't put it right there, but this is what it looks like. And we'll probably find it in Nether. 
Um, what else? A lily tad and mini pads are found in swamps and around lakes and whale and we'll find this one Ooh. all right what else lizards oh my god i love lizards i hope you find them everywhere look at them different colors and Ooh, that one is a gradient anyway uh a yeti i didn't spawn it but there you go. Oh my god. Why did I say ooh? Oh my god. Ah. It's a yeti. It's a scary yeti. Anyway. You also have a cactum. Where are they? Oh, where are they? I thought I put them there. But there you they there you go. There they are. They're so cute. So, so, so cute. Then, what do I... Oh, yeah. These little mushroom buddies. Look at that. It's so cute. And then we also have, like... Creepy looking shroom buddies. Oh my god, look. Look at that. They have weird teeth. They're scary. Anyway. A little grub. What is that? Oh, it's so cute. I have never seen it before. Oh my god, this is a lovely bird. Anyway, um... Did you see everything? Yeah, I think we saw everything in this mod. So I think this is it for the Cactus and Beasts mod. Critters and Companions is a vanilla style creature mod. That adds new animals throughout the world and they are so cute. You gotta see. Oh my god, check this out. This is a Shima Inaga. Oh, it's a lovely bird. What else? We have a ferret. Look at him go. Oh my god, it's, there, there's so many ferrets here now. There's that little jumping spider. These are the red pandas. Otters. Uh, what else? Did I show you everything? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, it's not this one. It's that one. Oh, yeah, I didn't show you the little sea creatures. Oh my god, is that an evil one? No, it's not an evil one. I thought it was an evil one. You guys are wondering, what is an evil one? It's an evil mushroom. I'm traumatized. This is a what? Koi fish? This is a sea bunny. Sea bunny, sea bunny. Woo! You're so cute. A bucket of Dumbo octopus. Dumbo. <laughs> what, is, what does that mean? Dumb in their language? Never mind, that was a dumb thought. And more koi fish! Look at them go! So cute. Okay. I think that's it for this um, mod. I mean, of course, it gives you some um, new things like this grappling hook, silk lead, silk pearls, and I guess every little animal here or creature drops some goodies that you can craft these with and yeah moving on moving on to dusty decorations here it's a mod where it adds many rustic blocks for decoration um to you know add a rustic feel <laughs> i guess themed around um Ports and markets. Um, many blocks, as you can see here, like this poster block, have randomized textures to keep builds from looking repetitive. Uh, um, let me get a better example, like this one. Set of jars, depending on where you place them. The texture is randomized. 
Um, it also adds this climbable rope, which can be helpful, or I don't know, it can be handy if you just want to replace all ladders with just this rope to climb. But yeah, that's it. You can't actually store anything here, it's just for show. Uh, oops. Yeah, the, the trapdoor is not a part of it. This is like a, some type of roofing thing. So nothing here is really usable. Um, it's all like purely a decoration mod. Minecraft Delight is an add-on for Farmer's Delight aiming to bring more, you know, cooking workstations and recipes to go along with, uh, with the theme. And I, I love it. It's, they really, they, I don't know, like, they really captured the vanilla looking mod. Why would they call it? The vanilla essence? Like, it looks like something the developers would actually add into the game. And I love it, especially looking at these um, types of wallpapers that I'm going to show in a bit. On top of that, it adds a bunch of new tools and ingredients, meals, feasts, and aesthetics. A lot of these um, plates are replaceable too, um, but I'll let you discover that on your own when you install the mod and yeah, figure out what, what you want to place and uh, anyway, that was a fail. <laughs> um, and yeah, so now let's see the wallpapers. I love this lime thing. It also comes with these, like... I don't, I don't like the sound of that, but, um... It makes sense though, it's a creeper. But look at this, it has this little, um... I don't- I forgot what to call it, but... The little thing we have, so... I don't know, whatever that is, it adds that little detail and I love it. Because it really signifies signifies that this block is literally the first block uh, on top of the floor. Like, this is where the wall starts. Anyway, then we have this cyan wallpaper. Not much. It looks like a bit of uh, a royal theme. Oh, I love this. Oh, reminds me of daisies. This one too. Wait, are they taking inspiration from Minecraft flowers? Wait, 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 wait. Yes, they are. Okay. Oh, this is um interesting. I don't know what it symbolizes, but I like it. Ooh, I like this one too. Orange. Oh, I like tulips. Oh my god, this is so cute. Gray. Reminds me of those little... Where are they? These blocks here? I don't know why. Oh, we have grapes. Yum. Wait, what? This is, reminds me, like, I don't know, when I see blue and white, I think Greek. Um, this black wallpaper, this white wallpaper. Oh, this red wallpaper is so cute. Like, it would so work um, as wallpaper for a cozy kitchen. It looks like something my grandma would place at her um, kitchen or something. Anyway, I like the little apples. This is green wallpaper. I don't know what it, what that is. Is it like a green diamond, a heart, <laughs> or maybe just like a leaf, I think? And this is the brown wallpaper. So yeah! That's it for this mod. I Wanna Skate is a mod all about skateboards and skating, as you can see. You can craft your own skateboard, perform tricks, and become a teenage dirtbag. <laughs> There's actually a, I think, um, what do you call it, an advancement? 
want to do something. I don't rem quite remember what it was, but um, yeah, I'm a teenage dirtbag, baby. Something like that. That one song that goes like that. Alright, let me see. Oh, look at me. I look cool. Yo, check this trick, homie. <laughs> oh my god, this, this, no, this is not. Oh, no, I'm stuck. What can I do? Whoa. Wait, I'm having too much fun, actually. I like that we can do this and it turns whatever we want it to. Anyway, <clears throat> going back to the mod now. Um, just so you know, just like in real life, these skateboards don't work well on natural blocks. By natural blocks, I mean sand, dirt, grass. So instead, if you want to like, you know, just how we have skateboard uh, skating parks and stuff like that. Oh my god, this is stupid. Sorry. Um, yeah, so... You should probably build some stone or concrete um, blocks instead. Kitchen carrot, carrot with a K, yeah, is a lightweight uh, Minecraft mod that adds vanilla flavored foods with a, a simple concept of easy cooking. It adds, wait, let me just show you the tab. It adds over 80 new foods under various themes, plus it adds some canned food, uh, some canned food, a brewing system, and along with a system with alcohol and soft drinks production. You can also make customizable cocktails. <laughs> And you can also place food on plates as well. I tried to show you guys all the 3D blocks. Uh, by 3D, I mean the blocks that you can actually place. There you go. I tried to show you a, a little bit of the items and foods that come with this mod, but I wasn't able to look at this. I would have to use like so many f um, item frames. Oh. Sorry, turns out I was thirsty. Anyway, this is it for the kitchen carrot mod. If you love cooking, if you love displaying your foods, you love, I don't know, making the, pro the whole process of making food in Minecraft, this mod is definitely for you. It's one of the best kitchen mods out there right now, so yeah, be sure to check it out. Mama Decor Collection adds various vanilla style decoration um, following various themes like art, science, bathroom, garden, cookery, holidays, lights, and toys. For example, here we have garden. This is, of course, is not everything it has. I just don't, I didn't have the time nor the patience. To put everything out. Here you go. This is the garden stuff. And you're gonna find the rest um, in creative mode as well. I also know that you can craft them in survival, but I don't really know the recipes. Anyway, this is for the holiday section. This is for science and I guess health and everything. Now, for the other part, we need to travel. <laughs> Well, all this to find more. Okay, <clears throat> because I didn't have space over there. This is the bathroom stuff. This is the toys section. Literally every Minecraft mob that exists is here. Literally, it's so amazing. And it's super fun too. Like, oh my god. Um, You can imagine that this pillager is leading a revolution. And maybe it's trying to fight with this under dragon. Anyway, um, 
I'm making the story up as I go. Um, anyway, that's for the toy section. This is for the cookery section. Food and everything, kitchen stuff. I love that it also adds an apron and a chef hat. The detail is pretty nice too and I think you can use... Yeah, uh, you can use some of these as storage. The empty ones, of course. There, uh, we have different kinds of plates that we can put out. Cake. Um, things on cutting boards. And the last section of the MOA collection is, um... The art section and the light section. I think all of these are the lights that are available. Of course, like, each one of them comes with all available colors. Then here we have art stuff, and I really love what it adds, but mainly they're not functional blocks, they're purely just for decoration. Still though, they're pretty cute. Moving on, it's time to review this super beautiful mod called Mystique's Biomes. Um, this mod adds four vibrant vi- uh, Vibrant biomes, oh my god. Vibrant biomes to the overworld and each um, bringing new features to vanilla gameplay. It adds this red panda, this strawberry cow. Let me, let me just... Oh, it's so cute. This is the red panda. Strawberry cow. Anyway, as you can see, it adds multiple biomes and each biome has its own oh oh my god i didn't know we can put two in one. Oh, that's fun anyway it adds a bush a peony bush these are strawberries growing uh these are lavender flowers oh yeah all of these are different leaves for the new trees also have milk uh strawberry milk we have sweet strawberry no more strawberry and a new cake a strawberry cake here are all the different wood types and doors and everything yeah that's it I know you were probably curious about these um, little cute creatures and their annoying sounds that I had to mute earlier, but they all come from a mod called Neighborly. This mod adds a, div a diverse cast of friendly neighbors for you to find, to talk to, and to build homes for so they can join you in your Minecraft town. All of these um, 12 neighbors contain uh, over like, I don't know, uh, 200 lines of dialogue per player and it also, n not per player, uh, it has like over 200 lines for dialogue and there's also a reputation system with each neighbor per player. Oh my god, they also make a noise. Hello. Uh, hello there, I'm Thompson. Hi, I'm Chloe, nice to meet you. Foolish mortal, you dare approach me? Prepare for the eternal torture. Nah, I'm just kidding, I'm Roxy, what's up? Anyway, they all have their own little personalities and they're so fun. So if you don't want to feel alone in your Minecraft world, you want some little friends, cute little friends that can actually... I don't know, make your world... Feel less lonely? This mod is definitely for you. Pastel Life adds cutesy blocks, weapons, and mobs. Well, one mob. This is Sheeb. Um, I don't know what it really is. I think it's part bunny, part pug. Anyway, um... They can be tamed and bred with cacti that we find in the desert oh they're so cute let's breed one of them oh. Yay. they made a, uh, another sheep anyway now we have we're gonna have a bunch of sheeps 
running around but yeah these are the blocks that this mod adds and we also get three new doors with cute pastelli colors Wii Deco is a simple vanilla inspired furniture mod everything you see here is made from the Wii Deco mod I love how I don't know I love how it really matches the vanilla style it's not too out there it's not too modern it's not too you know sometimes you install some furniture mods and it looks like it doesn't fit in the game this is completely different it blends in right in like look at these new um fluffy carpets they look so close to the vanilla version it's insane and it gives you this new pet bed as well terrariums new um light bulbs or lamps a bunch of new things this is a stool chair and also there's a variety in how you decorate because this is actually a coffee table but i tried to give the beds i don't know a different look so i arranged that with the coffee table i also used the stool here as you can see as if it's like the coffee table but it's really not anyway i this is the Redeco mod. It's super amazing. I really um, recommend you to try it. Okay, now it's time that we talk about the S33R collection. So this is the S33... Oh my god, I'm still going to spell it. Uh, Seer? Is it like the 3 for E? I don't know. S33 are um, butterfly paintings. I love them so much. So it doesn't add any new blocks or items. It's just when you start, you know, um, collecting paintings or trying to put paintings, just like the vanilla ones, you can put the try and find like the butterfly paintings at like just like this. Anyway, these are all the paintings available. I really love them. And if you do as well, then the download link will be down below. I'll provide it. Okay, now uh, in the same collection, we have the SEER more foods. And these are some of the foods that I put here. Some of them are placeable. They're super cute. Uh, but uh, let me just see if I put everything or if I am missing some stuff. Let me just find the right tab for it. There you go. Oh my god, there's so many other stuff that I didn't put out. Anyway, I love the... How it still sticks to vanilla, but um... You know, in the pixel art and everything. But it adds so much new stuff and so much placeable items and foods as well. And I, I don't know about you guys, but I love that. That is like, I see placeable items. I'm like, yes, I'm going to download that mod for sure. Anyway, this is for the S33R um, foods mod. Now we are going to the last um, part of this collection, which oh, I passed it which is the S33R Iris Azaleas. And just to give you an example, all of these come in the mod, but they're not the only ones, of course. I just didn't have, again, the time nor the patience to put everything up. Let me just search for it again. Yeah, there you go. Uh, not only does it Add the leaves, it adds also the plant. And yeah, you can see it goes from orange, red, lime, uh, green, yellow, cyan, light blue, blue, purple. A lot of colors, a lot of um, diversity as well. Oh my god, this is a diamond azalea. So yeah, if you like color uh, colors in your world, this mod is definitely going to um, change the game for you. Alright, now I don't know about y'all, but I love peaches. And just like this mod, 
It is cold. It's just peachy. <laughs> it's basically a small uh, mod about peaches. Add a peach recipe, a new peach tree, and leaves, as you can see. Wait. Uh, can I get the... I'm trying to get the leaves. Wait. These are just the leaves on their own. Oh, sheep is here. Anyway, so with a new tree, new leaves, we also get new wood that we can craft a ton of things with, like a new door, stairs, uh, fences, gates, you know, all of that. Also, we get two types of lanterns. This is a paper lantern, and this is a peach lantern. They're so cute. As well as a few other um, foods and a peach cake, which I'm devouring right now. <laughs> anyway, this is, I think, um, it's such a cute mod, and yeah, if you like cute stuff and food and lanterns, I guess, this mod will definitely be worth it. Okay, so you think we've already seen this already? Yes, it's the redeco mod, but behind it, I put like different wallpapers, and this is a mo an entire mod. Uh, on its own, it's entirely different. This wallpapers mod adds about 16 new wallpaper blocks and walls, and they're all the ones you see behind here. They're available in every Minecraft color, um, vanilla Minecraft color, and I love that about it. Let me just show you. Where are they? There you go. All these are the different wallpapers also adds wallpaper rolls same design as always and yeah moving on to another creative mod which actually is just around the corner zetter painting mod so as you can see it adds a custom drawing interface to create custom paintings in mc I really do love this mod because it is such a... Where did I... Oops. I actually really do need that palette. But anyway, I love this mod because drawing it is so fun. Let me just find... A little drawing thingy. Oh, no. I got baited. That's not it. I cannot believe I have to do this because I have a ton of mods. here oh my god anyway so uh first thing you gotta do is craft this palette i don't really know the recipes but i think if i provide you with the mod link you're gonna find it on there so we're gonna take palette from the inventory place it right there and now we can actually draw i love that you can also go uh you can undo and redo what you did Anyway, I am going to undo, try at least. <gasps> oh my god, I just switched from pencil to brush and it's a whole different thing. Oh my god. You know what? Let's draw something interesting. Okay, it's already ugly. <laughs> Yay, it says sub. Anyway. Don't forget to like and subscribe, so my little wish will, will become true. Oh my god. There you go, I fixed it. Would you sub now? Anyway. <laughs> so this is it for the Zetter painting mod. I'm actually gonna leave it just like that. Last mod is called Weaver's Cosmetics and it adds many cosmetics, uh, cosmetic headgears and torso items to the game. But unfortunately, you cannot find them in survival mode, so everything you're seeing here will be only available in creative. Anyway, I love this um, little build because it makes me feel like such a uh, runway model. Uh, although we have no audience, I can already hear the crickets. Anyway, um, 
I love this mod. Look at this. I, I can like literally pull out the pirate outfit. Like imagine playing a survival game or uh, in a survival world and it's all about pirates and you have this sick outfit on. Oh my god, everyone, everyone on the server would want to be your friend. Anyway, we also have this angelic um, look with the halo. The halo and the wings. I actually do feel like an angel in this. And... Oh, what else? Oh, okay, okay. So this is super fun because Christmas is pretty soon. And I love this. Look at the little scarf it adds. And it matches so well my outfit. It's crazy. And I'm super in love with the Santa hat. It's honestly amazing. Anyway, this is it for today's video. Please leave a like and subscribe and be sure to stay tuned if you would want to see other videos from me like <clears throat> data pack reviews or bedrock, um, mod reviews, anything like that, texture packs, survival let's plays, anything Minecraft related, then this is the channel for you and please if you have any suggestions, please um, take your time in the comments down below. I actually read all of your comments guys, so anyway, that's it, that's it for today, and bye, and bye!